Hello, witches and warlocks, and welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you guys again. So, today I'm going to be doing a show and tell um, of my book collection. Um, however, I'm only gonna I'm going to be doing this in two parts. So, because I've got so many books, I couldn't possibly get through them all um, in this one video. So, I'm going to do this in two parts and show you um, the books I bought. Um, earliest as in like when I was younger and then go through to the ones that I've recently bought um, and ones that I bought in the last couple of years so um, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, some of you out there may already have these books um, but these were my inspiration growing up um, and what I got all my information from um, as I say in all my videos um, I've been doing this for a very long time um, and I mainly have just learned through books, reading, um, practicing, but I don't usually, um, I've never practiced witchcraft um, that much until recently. So um, this was a new thing for me really to practice. However, I've been reading and learning for years and years and years. I've been on my Wiccan path since I was a teenager. So I've been a, um, a pagan for a very long time. So let's get to my book haul. So first of all, I wanted to show you the first book I ever, ever got. Um, from the first day I ever walked into a Wiccan, pagan, occult shop, I bought this book straight off the bat. Now I'm not, um, I'm not ashamed to say that I bought this book purely on its cover alone. Um, but then when I read it, it sort of gave me an, an insight to what um, it was about. So, um, this was the book, and this one here. Some of you may recognize it, some of you may not. And it's basically Charms and Spells and Formulas by Ray T. Mel Melborough. Melborough? I, I, Melborough? I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, again, it's a, a Llewellyn's Practical Magic series. So, I'm assuming there's other books in this one as well, but uh, I actually get Llewellyn's calendar and diary every year. It's a great little thing. Um, and it was the actual front cover. It was the Book of Shadows on the front that sort of got me, um, and I liked the look of it. So yeah, basically this is the first ever book I got. And it basically has um, spells, formulas, how to set out your order, order. it has a, a, um, a small, Thing on um, crystals, um, which I never really uh, got. Days of the week, um, candle magic, and um, she tells you all the correspondence um, for candles and all that sort of stuff. It's got washes, it's got oils, formulas, you name it. It's even got an auto layout. So for every spell, charm, and and thing that you're doing here, I mean, it's even got dolls. Um, yeah, so it even tells you exactly how to set it up on your altar. Um, yeah, it's like, it's, it now looks really old, this book. Um, yeah, it, it actually looks like it's, uh, one of those books that you would find now in a, in a, a witchy movie because all the pages have gone yellow and old and dusty. And these weren't actually what they looked like. It was a brand new book and the pages were white. But over the years, it's just got old and tatty. And that's what I think makes it a little bit more special to me. Um, however, yeah, this will always be a special book to me because it's the first one I ever bought. And I read it back to front over and over and over and over again. Okay, the next one I bought was um, Scott Cunningham, which is Earth, Air, Fire and Water. Now... If you watch my channel, you'll know that I uh, love elements. Um, elemental magic is my favorite, and I love anything to do with nature um, and the elements. So I bought this purely because that reason, because I've always loved it. Um, and Scott Cunningham, and Cunningham, sorry. Uh, Scott Cunningham, I mean, you can't really go wrong with Scott. Um, he was an amazing guy. He practiced for many, many years. I actually do want to get his um, book on herbs, because it goes through every single herb you can imagine and tells you what they are because herbal magic is something I'm trying to get into. But this book is basically all the elements and what you can do um, with each element and how to use it. Isn't, isn't, it even has um, like rituals. It basically tells you the beginning, 
basic of magic um, and it goes into spells you can do with each element so I mean every book I bought I think I think they all have at the beginning you know things that tell you how to be a witch why you want to be a witch um, all those sorts of things all the basic stuff this one goes into it very briefly um, it goes into this is magic magical techniques tools and magic the elements um, preparing for rituals then it goes into earth power air power fire power water power stone magic magic uh, magnet magic candle magic star magic snow magic ice magic mirror magic wishing well magic sea magic um, and creating your own rituals um, that's in the content contents um, yeah so great little book if you're into element magic Perfect, tells you all about the elements. Um, your next book I've got here is the 2003 Herbal Almanac. I think that's how, Almanac, 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 I think that's how you say it. So basically it's got herb magic um, and law, growing and gathering health, beauty, herbs, herbs for cooking and craft. So it's all about herbs and how you can do it. I mean, I've gone through this and to be honest with you, it's great. It's Llewellyn's, obviously, because they do everything. Um, and it's got some great information in here. However, it just wasn't enough for me. I needed a bit more on each herb and how you, how, what they're used for, correspondences, that sort of thing. I mean, it has got some in here. Just I want something a little bit more than that. Um, but this is great for how to use herbs and stuff and uh, it does have some in here um like tells you about some of the herbs not all of them though um and then it has the different you know spells and stuff you can do um how to put magic into your cooking um magical intent yeah it's um it's a great little book and you know I, it's one i definitely think i'm going to read again just to double check you know what is in there because you know over the years you don't actually uh, read them again and you forget what's in them so um yeah so i want to go through that again the next one is the book of wicca this is by lucy summers it's, um bring love healing and harmony into your life with the power of natural magic um this one sort of stood out to me and the reason I liked this book is because when I saw the front cover, I didn't think much of it, to be honest with you. I looked at it and thought, mm, it's just one of those books again. However, inside, it's completely and utterly different because if you can see here, I'll show you, it's got like live um, pictures and stuff. So the, the pictures actually are like more like photographs of actual real things, you know, how you actually do stuff. Um, you know, it's real magic rituals, you know, here, like you can actually see how someone's actually cast a circle. Um, so yeah, so when this, like, so for instance here, it's casting a circle and it explains what you do in, by casting a circle. And you also get an amazing, huge picture of how to set up casting your circle. So this is your circle, your, alt your altar, and it shows you where to place the candles. It just gives you, if you're new to the world of magic um, and you need, like myself, something dumbed down and shown literally in your face, um, this book's perfect. You know, it's just like a, you know, it's got like spell works. It's got everything you need in here. Like it pretty much covers most things. I mean, for a beginner, I mean, it's got introduction, principle of Wicca, tools and crafts, circle work, um, festivals, rituals, um, spell work, glossary. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it even tells you the history of, you know, Wicca and stuff. So, you know, it's a great little book. If you're new, to witchcraft if you can find this lucy summers um the book of wicker it's actually a great little book it doesn't look so good on the outside personally for my idea it's not something that jumps out at me book cover wise but the inside definitely did 
Okay, this next one. The Green Wiccan Spellbook. Now, I saw this and my instant reaction was, oh, it's one of those annoying little things that they bring out that, you know, non Wiccans and pagans always get every year um, around like Hall uh, Halloween or um, there's always loads of them brought out when it's like um, Valentine's Day and there's loads of love spells in there and you know girls get them teenage girls and they try and you know win themselves a boyfriend and stuff like that it's a bit tacky um, they sort of put me off that sort of thing um, however this is not bad at all because some of it is actually quite good it shows you all the ingredients you need uh, for each spell none of them are tacky spells like none of them are you know those sorts of spells where you go oh that's a bit yeah not right but it does actually take you through um each little uh phase of the moon and all that sort of stuff so it starts off with backgrounds of magic, magical tips and tricks, and it goes into spells. So it goes love spells, home spells, friendships and family spells, health spells, money and work spells, luck and justice spells, general spells. Um, then chapter three goes on to meditation and rituals. Um, yeah, so it's it's a neat little book. It's a good read. Um, and it just shows you some inspiration. If you're not used to making your own spells, so you're not used to writing your own spells yet, have a little look in there. It'll give you some insight. Um, yeah, so there's um, a lot to think about in that book. So that one, um, sorry, is, uh, yeah, is the Green Wiccan spell book, um, the Compendium of Magical Knowledge. Um, yeah, and if you can see the name, I can't actually pronounce what that is, but that's, I'm assuming who wrote it. Um, if you can find it, it's a good little book worth going into. Um, yeah, so the next one is this one here, the Apophagri, Apoph I think that's how you say it, Apophagri. Apoph Apoph yeah, Apocrypha. I can never get that out. Apocrypha. Um, so, yeah, by Jilly uh, Sherv Shervich ish. Um, I've totally messed that name up. I do apologise. Um, however, you know, there's uh, some words I can't always say, and we're always going to have those problems with me. So, uh, being dys dyslexic. So, anyway, so this one has quite a lot of stuff in it um it's such a little book but got loads and loads of stuff in it but i would say um it's more for an advanced which i wouldn't say get this one if you are a, a beginner because it goes into scrying it goes into stuff that um i wouldn't necessarily say is something you need to know at the beginning of your path and these are sort of things you have to learn as you go on um yeah it's not really what i would call a beginner's book there are some stuff on sigils in here amulets talismans charms which um uh, a witch's bottle it goes into binding banishing smudging um yeah it goes into spells got spells advanced spells um yeah it goes into the third eye you know um, it, there's a lot of stuff on here that is a bit more advanced. Um, again, I bought this because um, I wanted something else to read. Um, I probably would not recommend this to a new witch. Um, but have a little read. You may like it if you're into that sort of stuff. It wasn't my favourite book. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, so this next one is a given for most people, it's the Witch's Bible, the Complete Witch's Handbook. Now, if you want a textbook that goes into every single thing about witchcraft and the world of Wicca and paganism, this is the bad boy. This is the big Bible of 
Um, and it, on the back here, it does say everything you need to know is here. Sabbaths, casting, banishing magic circles, complete book of shadows, a great rite. Um, yeah, spells, which is tools, witchcraft and sex, running, a coven, astral projection. It just goes on. The list, the list goes on and on and on. And it's broken down into many parts. And it, on each part has a little uh, content page in each part that tells you what's in that part of the book. It's huge. If you want a textbook on witchcraft, then this is the bad boy to get. However, for me, I use it to, if I want to go through and go through my basic stuff um, as a quick reference book. It's pretty much got everything in there. However, for me, I like something a little bit more visual, um, to be honest with you. I don't like reading big textbooks. It's not really my thing. Um, However, I think if you're a witch, you do, I would say you have to own this. Um, you're always going to recommend any book. First time, this is the one. It's not going to be very fun to read um, in my estimation. It's like when, when you're at school and you have this massive textbooks to read before you do your exam. Um, it reminds me of that, which puts me off, really. However, I'm not saying it's a bad book. It's not at all. It's got everything you need to know in there. Um, so if you want to, I would suggest maybe buying that book. Um, if you really want to get into witchcraft and paganism, it's definitely a book to have. Um, again, don't get it if you want to just go into this with a fun outlook on paganism and Wiccan um, rituals because it's not a fun book. It's not got lovely pictures in it. It's a textbook, basically. Okay, so this next one. Here, oh, and um, yeah, I mean, this is by Janet and Stuart Farrah, I want to say Farrah. So yeah, it's a, it's a very well-known book, so you will easily find it. The Witch's Bible um it's really easy to find so this next one is the real witch's handbook a complete introduction to the craft by katie kate west um so that's what it looks like it's for me i would it was looked to me like one of those sort of books i wanted to read when i went on holiday um because it had a, the beach on there and it really stood out to me Again, this isn't really a major book for pictures. Um, it's more of a textbook, but I mean, it does go through everything. I mean, on here you can go, you've got the you know the Sabbaths, you've got your goddess and goddesses, um, familiars. You know, it's got everything you need to know. But it's a little bit more fun. Um, it's a little bit more modern. Um, it goes into myths and everything. I mean, there isn't anything not in here. Um, I'll go through the content page for you. So um, it's got a ma a witchcraft, the myth, witchcraft in reality, moon worship, the eight Sabbaths, uh, becoming a witch, magic, spellcraft, herb, law, um, out of the broom closet. So it talks about coming out to people around you and letting them know. This is what I believe in and this is what I do. I'm a witch and, you know, and like I said, you don't, you don't necessarily have to be a witch if you're pagan or, you know, Wiccan. You don't have to be a witch because, you know, you can do all that without practicing witchcraft. I have many, many years. Um, and again, if you want to practice witchcraft, you can. You don't have to be a pagan or a Wiccan to practice witchcraft, you know. They don't necessarily go together as a whole, but some people just choose to be a Wiccan, a pagan, and also study witchcraft. So, um, so yeah, um, getting in touch. There's, low, there's quite a lot in here. It's a fun little book, and I would definitely recommend it. So do pick it up if you want to. The next one that I'm going to go to is the Wick Wiccan Handbook by Elaine Holland. And this is actually a book 
that I enjoyed reading so much. And I didn't think I would. I saw the front of it and I thought, hmm, it's a bit tacky. Um, I didn't like the look of the front cover. It didn't really drag me in. However, when I went into it, um, I actually still have a card in here um, from where I got up to. Um, I actually read the whole thing in the end, but I didn't actually put the marker back in. I left it in the in the different page. But um, yeah, this one goes into a lot of detail about different things. Again, um, you know, it does each and different part of the book. Um, the contents here, I can show you. Each part of the book has a contents page. Um, so it's introduction about Wicca, starting in magic, Book of Shadows, which is tools, the elements, casting spells, um, making invocation, writing spells is in here as well. Part two is the craft, um, creativity, fertility, health and healing, law, justice, love, magic, money and business, protection, psychic work, mag sex magic and wisdom. It goes into correspondence number three. So um, it goes into all the different next uh, steps. So it's uh, colours, material, rocks, gemstones, letters, numbers. Um, yeah, it's pretty much got everything in here. Um, again, it's not got everything. It hasn't got every detail about everything. Like you won't find a load of higher herb stuff in here. You won't find a load of gemstones in here. But... For a basic book of what you need to know, it's not a bad little book. So, The Wiccan Handbook, it's definitely a one for getting if you want. Um, it, now, this one for me was a bit of a joke. It was actually a present from somebody um, when I told them I was a witch and, and I told them I was pagan and, you know, that sort of thing. My friends decided that they would go out and buy me a birthday present and this is what they gave me. Um, now when I was at school, I used to get these all the time for different lessons um, because it just broke everything down into a nice little way. Um, but now you can actually get this. So this is the Wicca and Witchcraft for Dummies. Um, so basically it breaks it down like a textbook and gives you the need to know things. Um, yeah, it's got everything in here really <laughs> and it's actually not that bad. Um, I like my books to be a bit more mystical when I look at them and the way they're written. This one is like being at school. Um, does It does go through everything though. Um, so it takes you all the way from deciding whether you want to be a witch or um, it also goes into the history of witchcraft as well. So yeah, if you want to pick it up, you don't need it. I mean, it's not the best book in the world. Um, it hasn't got the fun element, uh, the mystical element to it, but give it a little go. You never know, you might like it. I would honestly say I wouldn't personally recommend it, but it's a bit of fun if you like that sort of thing. Okay, and the next one is, um, is the How to Be Witch. So it's a play on words. So basically, how to be witch or be a witch. Um, a manual of modern witchcraft, um, and that's by Raven Tempest. Um, now, this again was one of those books as very modern way of writing. So basically, um, it's got different things in here ancient and modern so the roots of witchcraft um you know it's got so many different things powers of the moon spell will casting a spell it's a fun little book if you want to jump straight into the whole spell work thing um again it's not really going to take you that long to read and i mean the contents it's quite young in my eyes um, so it's got um, the roots of witchcraft, um, burning times, challenging the uh, craft, a new millennium. It's basically a fun little spell book. 
if you want to have a look at that sort of thing. I mean, it does break down some of the moon phases. It also tells you about the pentagram. But it's a fun little teenage book. It takes you through all the essential ingredients um, for different spells. So, yes. Got loads of different things in here that you could have a play with if you wanted to. Would I recommend it? Not a hundred percent. If you were if you were new in witchcraft and you wanted to really go into the whole Wiccan and pagan side of things and the beginner's guide to witchcraft, it's not really the one for you. Um, however, if you wanted to have a little bit of fun with your mates and practice some spells before you decide that you want to learn how to be a witch and how to be a pagan and and what is all behind it and the history of it all, then have a little go this one it's a little bit of fun um again i wouldn't majorly recommend it um this one is a very old book i've had it for so long now i think actually to be honest with you i actually bought this probably second this was probably after my first book actually um i could tell because it's so old um so it's witchcraft a beginner's guide and it's by Teresa moray and it's a nice little book don't get me wrong i mean this one again all the pages have gone like a brown color so it looks really cool i love that look um so it feels like a proper old book um and it is pretty much i'm not gonna lie it's an old book i'm old it's an old book it's one of the first ones i got and i would like as i said it's probably i think it might have been the second one i got to be honest with you and this one has uh the scrying art uh, making magic, signs and symbols, things which is do, which is which is a sex, a place for witchcraft, how witches worship, the the world of witchcraft, and taking things further. So, um, further reading, choose for dresses. It's got all that sort of stuff in it, and I mean, it's a good little thing if you want to learn about how we do everything and what tools we use and what a pentagram is and. You know, before you actually decide you want to do it as a witch, then, um, yeah, this is a great little book. Teach about the god and goddess. This one is, um, yeah, it's a, what is a witch? It's a good little book if you can find it. It's a nice little introduction before you decide you want to drive the car. You can go through a little bit of how you get there and decide from there and it's a small little book doesn't take long to read um now this one um was actually i think the third fourth book maybe i i bought um i was a bit lazy when i was a kid um i had a lot on i was learning a lot of stuff i was doing um drama school at the time um so i was i was in lessons all the time i was at gymnastics all the time so my life sort of took off and i was still doing homework and all this sort of stuff so um i, I was a bit of a lazy kid when it came to practicing um witchcraft and um i and so i thought what's the quickest way of doing it so i decided to go into candle magic um because i thought i'd be lazy so it says practical candle burning rituals and I thought, you know, I burn candles anyway. Why not do a ritual at the same time? Again, I got very lazy and I didn't really go into it. But it basically tells you all about candles and what you can do, how to make a, a voodoo candle. It's got so much in here, like charms and that sort of thing. And yeah, it's, it's just got basically everything you can do with a candle. Though, if you wanna do any spell with a candle, this is the book to have because it's got everything you need to know about burning candles and what you need to do to make candle magic work um so the next one this one is actually a fairly new one um it's uh yeah let me just grab it for you so this one is a very very new one should i say um this one is one of my good friend's books. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
And her name is Mandy C. And I mention her all the time on my channel because she's one of my good friends and she's lovely. And when I saw this, I thought, you know what? This girl knows exactly what she's doing when it comes to witchcraft and stuff. Because, I mean, look at that book. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over this man flu. Um, so yeah, so it's black. The words stand out. And that picture is gorgeous. Look at that. Four elements. Now, if I weren't already a good friend of hers, I would have bought this book anyway, because look at that. I mean, The Eclectic Wicker, A Guide to the Modern Witch. And that's exactly what it is. It's basically what you need to know about witchcraft and... Oh, excuse me. There's all these books, <laughs> all the dust from my shelves. Um, I need to start going through these and tidying them up. So, so yeah, so this has everything you need to know about witchcraft. However, um, it's done in a way like a scrapbook. So as you can see, so it looks like a scrapbook, um, even though it's not. But um, it's exactly how Mandy does her sort of book of shadows. You can see how they're highlighted and underscored. And yeah, it's like it's like a, a romantic type of way of doing it. But no two pages are the same. Um, you know, it's just modern yet scrapbook meets... I mean, this page has got to be one of my favourites. This page here. I mean, look at the artwork on that. It's basically the phases of the moon. Um, so it shows you exactly what, you know, what they do. And look at the artwork on it. It's just so beautiful. Uh, and I am a little bit biased, I've got to say, because Mandy is a good friend of mine. But... Um, I would suggest definitely buying this book. If you're one of these people who likes the romance around magic, like the mystery, the mysterious things around magic, the beautiful side of magic, like the, you know, the scrapbook, the, um, you know, that sort of thing, I would, I, this book is for you. It's just perfect. It's like a little journal. Like, it's almost like she took her book of shadows, opened it up and put it in a book. Um, you know, and everything in here is so good. I mean, um, from part one, which is picking up your broom, obviously, when you first start, um, uh, planting the seeds, um, the natural world, um, eclectic book of shadows. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, you've got part one, two, and three, and then when you get to each section... It then breaks it down even more into what's in that section. So picking up your broom, you know, it breaks it down into each little section. What is a witch and, you know, the natural world. It's just such a good book. And I've read this book back to front a couple of times. You know, I've been following Mandy on YouTube for many, many years. And uh, yeah. So she is a great little witch, and I would suggest you go out and pick it up. What I love most about this book is the fact that she sent me a little message as well. She actually gifted me this book when she, um, when I told her that I loved it that much. She signed it for me, um, so I'm a lucky boy. But yeah, so definitely pick this up and check her out on YouTube because she's an amazing witch. Um, this is fairly new, obviously, if you sell my witch, witchy unboxing, basically, oh, I got this in the witch's casket, it's the little book of plant magic, so it just goes through a couple of herbs and plants, and explains what they're uh, all about, um, nothing major, it only comes with a, it's exclusive to witch casket, you can only get it on their website now, um, but yeah, it's a little glossary, it's a little tiny little book, 
And the next two actually were part of, this is a, a, the magic, um, not sorry, the mythic tarot and the approach to tarot cards. Um, this actually came with my tarot cards. So um, I got my tarot, this was my first tarot deck that I ever bought. My mum actually bought it for me and it goes through all the cards in the deck and tells you basically what they mean. Um, what I like to do is I like to do my spread and then analyze it myself and do a reading and then go back to the book and see if I got it right or at least I was, I was close. Um, and that's how I learned, or that's how I'm learning. Um, and this was my book for my first tarot deck. I then went a bit overboard and uh, I love tarot decks so I, um, I bought a few. And this one is the Green Witch Tarot Deck um, book. So basically inside is, you can, it's quite good this one though, because you can make your own notes on how you feel that represents um, the card. So it does give you a reason in behind it. Um, and like it does say what they mean. However, they give you little notes next to it where you can write yourself. If you decide that you think that, you know what, this is what I got from the card. So you can write it down and, uh, and make your own judgment on what you think is right about that card. And again, um, you know, I have been doing this a long time and I don't believe that there is one way to do witchcraft um or paganism there is you know there isn't there isn't one way of doing everything and there is many ways and each witch is different we all do things a different way and the same goes for tarot so we all read things differently they all come out the same in a way um but you know it's what you get from tarot um, but i'll talk about tarot a lot more in another video when i go through my tarot decks show you what they do. I do apologise, um, you're actually on the table and I've noticed a couple of times I bang these books and you wobble. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's the first part of my book, um, my book collection. And I've got more to go, so um, that will be in my second part of my witch, witchy book collection. Um, and I and they're growing because I'm buying more and more as the days go on. And uh, each one I find, it's more interesting and exciting to read and yeah so there's a couple more i'm i'm desperate to get as well um so yeah so i'll, I'll take you through those as well um, when the time comes but thank you very much for watching my video i'm sorry if you thought it was boring it's not everyone's taste however um hopefully there's some people out there who look and think Do you know what some of those books look quite cool um i'll have a little look and yeah i think you can still get all of them on Amazon. Um, I get my books from Amazon most of the time and occasionally I go to the works, I go and get stuff um, from the library, have a little read and I think, shall I buy it myself? So yeah, so there's um, there's loads of ways to get them. So, but thank you very much uh, for watching my video and there are more to come um, and thank you very much. So what I've got left to say is you be you and blessed be.